Some of the most popular games in the world are from Neversoft, including Spider-Man, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but their last game ever made was Call of Duty Ghosts, and it's here you'll find a devastating tribute. By the end of 2014, a new DLC introduced the Showtime map, but if you flew way out into the distance, you could find the Neversoft logo burned at the stake as a tribute to the shutdown studio. And I don't think the creators of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order intended for this secret to even be discovered. It turns out there's one planet in the game that lets you glitch under the map, and if you're in the perfect spot, Cal could land on a floating platform where he shimmies over and reads Metrovania Teste Com. A nice little throwback Easter egg. Well, another Easter egg we weren't supposed to see is in Watch Dogs that was accidentally left in. But some players explored the out of bounds sections of the map, they took their free cam underwater and found a derpy Loch Ness monster. Well, after sharing it, Ubisoft replied admitting this wasn't meant to be in the final version, and Nessie was removed like that. Looks like the people who worked on the scrap version stuck around because with the release of the Bad Blood DLC, this poster was added to the walls. Speaking of secret walls, there's a literal president hiding in a secret room of GTA Vice City and it shocked a lot of people who broke the game. A camera glitch using the rocket launcher lets you see straight through this wall in the gun store and it reveals Ronald Reagan and the leader of the Soviet Union. Well, usually GTA is subtle about this stuff, but I mean shots fired literally. Fallout 3 has a town called Megaton and it's guarded by this guy Stockholm. Only problem, he just watches from above and there's no way to get up to him, or so the devs thought. But using no clip, players flew up to interact with him, only to find out he'll say this. How the hell did you get up here anyway? Yeah, the Portal Prelude may be a mod, but it has better Easter eggs in the original, like when people activated no clip and flew out of bounds, only to find this secret patch of grass. When you get close, Dancing Badger suddenly appear, referencing the Badger song from 2003. A secret you weren't supposed to find has been hiding in Doom for 26 years. Pretty hard to get into areas without any textures, but if you manage to do it, you'll discover bright red text from a dev saying, I suck at making maps. I really wouldn't recommend leaving the map in Splashdown because the devs thought of a terrifying way to stop you. Once you get far enough out, a giant squid grabs you and drags your character under the surface, and then this happens. Ah! Now, I don't know how to explain this strange secret in Near Replicant. Players discovered you could glitch into a forbidden area and find Yona laying in bed. Considering you're not supposed to be here, they thought no one would notice her eyes literally bursting out of her face. I mean, this is horrifying. And in Tomb Raider 4, there's a way to use cheats to break into areas that nobody knew about. One of these is a hidden temple that's built entirely of this creepy woman. And I'm definitely having some nightmares after looking around here. Someone else who left a legacy behind is a love story that appears throughout multiple games. And like Psychonauts, you can go to one of the tallest skyscrapers and glitch your camera through the mountains, allowing you to spot this picture of a seemingly random woman. A cool easter egg for sure, until years later when people loaded up Brutal Legend and got a huge case of deja vu. Yet again, in this completely different game, they went out of bounds with a camera glitch and found another photo of the same woman. After all that time, it was revealed to be a developer's girlfriend who wanted to show her off to the world. Pretty adorable, just like the random dev room in EverQuest that can only be found if you're hacking. Whether they actually intended for someone to find it, the reason why a kitten shrine exists is still unknown to this day, but it's kinda awesome. That's unlike the end of the map in Mordhau. It is super difficult to escape the confines of this area, but if you do, there's a road you could follow that leads here. There's some words of wisdom pointing out who could say where the road goes, and if you try walking through it, you'll fall to your death. Oh. It could always be worse though, you could end up in a console prison, which is totally possible in Shrek. This is one of the most elaborate out of bounds discoveries I've ever seen, and it all begins when you no clip out of the map. Falling into the void teleports you into a strange room that is literally a one to one replica of a Nintendo GameCube. Before you try to leave, it's too late. Cheats have been disabled, and even the pause menu no longer works. Now you have to reset your console, and it makes you wonder why the devs hated cheaters this much. But you don't need to look hard to find this secret in the Stanley Parable. Most most people have no idea you could go to this window and jump out of it, but do it and you'll be trapped. Now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Worst part is you're literally stuck here forever until you restart your game. Bruh. And a big thank you to Warpath for sponsoring this video. Millions of players have stepped up as the commander of their army where your goal is to strategize, upgrade, and dominate enemy bases. Warpath is skyrocketing as one of the top military strategy games and with land air coordination, diverse gameplay, and realistic battlefield commands, it's not hard to see why. From real-time combat with simultaneous multi-line operations to strategic planning and controlling tons of units, this game has it all. When I put it 
it up for the first time, I didn't expect the massive battles I'd have to fight, all while expanding my territory, competing for land, and becoming the ultimate conqueror. The graphics even got a huge visual upgrade with 3D battlefield details, upgraded terrain, but my favorite part is the sniper sub gameplay. Here you'll go on first person special op missions, and it's the perfect time to jump in, especially if you play on PC. Yep, it is officially launched on here, and to celebrate, they have launched the Be a Top Commander event, where you can get tons of cash and in-game rewards for participating. Click the top link in the description to install today, but now, back to the video. All right, I love when Easter eggs break the fourth wall. In GTA, it's no stranger to doing that. So when players found a way to parkour out of the map of GTA 3, they were met with a secret message letting them know you weren't supposed to be able to get here. One of the weirdest discoveries of all time revolves around this subway train from Fallout 3. Looks pretty normal, that's what everyone thought for years, until someone went digging and uncovered a disturbing secret. Usually game developers have strange ways of making things work, and that's why instead of a rail system, this train runs with legs. Huh? Literally a guy wearing the subway as a hat, and his one of the most ridiculous easter eggs of all time. Uh, it's just like how no one is supposed to find the forbidden galaxy pools of Destiny 2. For a game mostly about exploration, this was one of the only places that should have been off limits. But as we've learned, if there's a secret, people are gonna find it, okay? No one knows why these areas exist. Some think they're testing rooms, and others think it's for an upcoming DLC. One thing's for sure, they're super creepy. Now personally, I prefer the simple gags that don't hurt your brain, and Deliver Us the Moon has plenty of them, but my favorite is hidden inside the bathroom stalls that could only be seen with a drone cam. Get to the perfect angle, make sure the flashlight is on, and look down to find a developer's face uh -huh. crammed into a toilet staring at you. But there's an area the insurgency developers created specifically to troll people who leave the map, and it's incredible. There's one alleyway that is marked out of bounds, and if you step foot inside, it gives you 10 seconds to leave or die. What people didn't know was that you could use this alley as a shortcut, and the level designer specifically made it possible to run through in time. In fact, it takes you exactly 9.9 .9 seconds to make it. I'm telling you, this is next level trolling. That is just a taste of the detail that goes into level design, which could also be seen in Modern Warfare 2019. On the hill map, a short distance outside the barrier zone is this tree. Seems normal, until a blue flame begins to appear. The total reference to Alien vs Predator, and some thought this was their way of announcing a collab, but it never happened. Another unexplained discovery is in the unused rooms of Jedi Academy's cantina. You seriously aren't supposed to get inside this door, but with a simple no clip, you're through, and there's actually props behind here, and a whole corridor that eventually leads you to Chewbacca. And a trover saves the universe, if you see a door yelling, go away, you're obviously gonna break in. I mean, come on. This is just asking you to investigate, but once you're inside, it's revealed to be the office of an NPC that seriously doesn't want you there. Did you use a no-clip program? <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> And while Battlefield 3 is mostly known for its multiplayer, the campaign can't be ignored, and it's when the two modes collide that a perfect secret's born. You could only use the Little Bird helicopter in multiplayer, or so we thought, until one person left the map during the Swordbreaker mission, running around with nothing but curiosity. And suddenly, the lone helicopter's just sitting there, ready to be flown. Things get real creepy in Payday 2. In a few of the maps, a strange figure could be spotted in the distance, paintings, and images. Then the Shackleton auction heist was released, taking it to the next level. Not only are there alien skulls and other strange items, there's a 1 in 4 chance when lightning strikes in the distance, you will see a dark figure lurking in the clouds. The same one from the paintings! Another secret that was intentionally left for players to discover is in Skyrim. Within days of the game's launch, people were already flying out of the map to see what unreleased content they could find. Well, that brought us to a huge part of the landscape showing an unfinished Imperial City miles away. Some thought this was a teaser for upcoming DLC, but apparently Todd Howard said it was just background decoration and is left there for explorers. And the developers of Dragon Age Inquisition once left a secret in a hidden part of the map they never expected anyone to find. For some reason, people left the boundaries of Skyhold and fell through the ground, expecting to respawn. They were shocked what to see that? a pie with a top hat instead. I mean, what? Reminds me of the time people used Noclip and Call of Duty United Offensive. This game is pretty old, so, I mean, hacking was easy. As you fly around shooting enemies from up in the sky, you might come across an abandoned house with a strange basement. Slowly heading down the stairs, I don't think anyone was expecting to find the creepiest cow of all time. One of my personal favorite Easter eggs is in Half-Life Opposing Force. When you arrive at the teleporter room, watch as Gordon Freeman jumps into the portal, and if you jump in after him, you'll die. 
But turn no clip on and then go through, you'll now actually find Gordon wearing sunglasses. A few years later, they followed up with Half-Life 2, and this has a disturbing detail which nobody should have seen. At the start of the game, you hear a raid going on in one of the apartments, but before you can investigate, the cop blocks you. You're only supposed to hear what's going on, but if you want to see it, just phase through the wall, and the civilian the cops killed is right there on the ground. It's super messed up considering it's blocked off. Let me know what you think is the creepiest. It's been Tommy and keep it here on T5G.